In this question, we'll find the arithmetic means for the arithmetic sequence. Since it's arithmetic related, this is the formula. It's not geometric. Arithmetic is much easier. This is the nth formula. A n can be any term. If this is, say, if you want to find the fifth term, then a phi it'll become. And a1 is always the first term, does not change, plus n minus 1. What is n? That is depending on which term you know. If it's the fifth term, it'll be phi minus 1 times the common difference depending on the sequence. Now let's look at our formula problems and see how this formula can be used. Now let me write down the formula. a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. What is the first term? a1 is 24. What is the last term? We, do, we can count out which term because we don't know the middle terms. These are the means. I can say this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth term. So I know this is a6. So let me substitute here. a6 will be equal to a1, that's 24, plus what is sixth, uh, n? Sixth term, minus 1 times d, that is, uh, you, you, we don't know the d value. Once we know the d value, we can easily find the remaining sequences because you just have to add the d value here. Add d, add d, you'll get the next term. But you can understand that d value is minus. Why? Because the numbers are reducing. Here, whereas it's increasing. So it should be plus. But we need the value exactly. So how we do is, okay, a6, this much is done. Now what is a6 exactly? Minus 1. That is equal to 24. Plus how much is this? 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 times d. Let's take this 24 to the other side. It will be minus 24. So minus 1 minus 24 equals 5 times d. That's minus 25 equals 5d. That is 5 times d. Let's divide both the sides by 5. And you're going to get minus 5 is equal to d. So I know minus 5 is the d value. Or you can just put this entire thing in the calculator. We know a6 uh, is minus 1, right? Put this in the calculator. You get the d value directly. And now keep on adding minus 5 here. 24 minus 5 is 19. Then we get 14. We get 9. We get 4. Then we get minus 1. So this is how we can easily find it out. Let me show you in the calculator this step. Minus 1 equals 24 plus n minus 1. That is 6 minus 1. Close the bracket. And d value is unknown. I'll take it as x. Shift and solve and then equal to it's minus 5. So what I do is 24 minus 5. What's it? Answer is 90. Now I'll just take, that's the next term, answer minus 5. Because I know all the answers subtracted by the d value is minus 5. It's 14, 9, 4 and minus 1. We'll stop over there. Similarly, what is this over here? Now I'll directly write it because it's the electronic part. I'm not going to, you should know the formula, but it's better to write the formula and substitute. I don't know, this is 49 equals, what's the first term? Minus 6 plus n is how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1, close the bracket, multiply it with x or the d value, and now shift and solve and press equal to, okay, I did a mistake, what did I do wrong? Now here this is equal to minus 6 plus n minus 1, and over here it should be, yeah, it's correct, alpha x, shift and solve and then press equal to it should come correct i think so i did press something wrong or maybe some error but anyways it's 11. now what is this that is the d value so now write it out it is minus 6 plus 11 because we got 11. the answer is 5. now what you do is write the answer and then plus 11 because now we know 5 next one will be 16 27, 38, you can see the answers here, 5, 16, 27, 38, that's how we can get the answers easily. Now these ones, I'll directly show it in the calculator. The f last term, that's 7 equals, I know there are some other methods because you will have the answers, I mean the four options with you. There are some tricks as well, but this is the most reliable method, you know, negative or positive, every time you'll get the correct answer. Uh, it's up to you, you can choose other methods as well. So 7 equals, what's the first term? It's minus 28. Uh, it's better to write the formula. A n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now practice plenty of times, then you can directly use the calculator and keep the formula in your mind and do it. So plus, 
Now here again, count the numbers, number of terms, one, two, three, four, five, six, everywhere it's six terms, so it's six minus one, close the bracket, multiply it with alpha x, shift and solve, that is equal to it's seven. So seven is the d value, that's been added up. So minus 28 and minus 28 plus seven. Now here we got negative 21. And now change this to answer and keep on pressing equal to, you'll get the next term and the next term and the next term and so on. Same thing over here, you can see. Also looking at the options, you can just see which is the best fit with calculator, just finding the D values and checking whether it's the proper sequence, you can find which is the best fit in the uh, of the arithmetic means as well. Now, but I'm, I'm using the formula here, 39 equals 84 plus, n minus 1, it'll be 6 minus 1, that's 5 times x. Shift and solve and equal to, it's minus 9. So here we have 84 minus 9. That is 75. Now I'm just going to change this 84 to answer and leave the minus 9 there. It's 66, 57, 48. Similarly here, minus 66, that is 6x, six, six, and equals minus 12 plus n minus 1, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. This is the seventh term here. It will be 7 minus 1. Close the bracket and multiply it with x. And shift and solve and equal to. It's minus 9 here. So what we need to do is minus 12 plus, okay, now you need to press AC or on. Now we will do minus 12 minus 9. The next answer is minus 21. Now I'll change this one up to answer. Oh, you can write, type in minus 21 and then press equal to, then again type in minus 30 and so on. Here is minus 30, minus 39, minus 48, and lastly minus 57. Similarly, do this problem and then check your answers. I'll do it here. 104 equals 182 plus n minus 1. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. So it's 6 minus 1. Sorry. It's either 6 or 7 minus 1. That will be 6 times x. Shift and solve and then press equal to it's minus 13. So it will be 182 minus 13. What is the answer? It's 169. Then I'll just change this up. See, minus 13 is the d value. That will remain. It's always the previous terms, previous term plus d. Now here it's minus 13. So it will be minus d minus d and so on. So let's put in the answer. It's 156. 143, 130, 117, we get 104, you can find the other terms as well, but we can stop at 104 because that is the last term here. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.